Hi, good evening, everybody. Uh, first of all, a, a warm welcome to all of you in today's SBL orientation session. My name is Sir Hassan Dosani, and I hope you guys are doing well. So this session is for March 2022 attempt, right? And uh, especially uh, for those students who are giving SBL for the first time, I just want to tell you what SBL is all about, what should be the areas of focus. And for people who are giving SBL as a reset paper, like second attempt or something like that, it will be a refresher. So my name is Hassan Dosani, and there you can, uh, you know, see my personal WhatsApp number. A little bit of introduction about myself by qualification. I am a chartered accountant. I qualified like 20, 22 years back. And uh, I have been working in the corporate sector for last 25 years. Currently, I am the CFO of uh, insurance brokerage house based in Dubai. So I've been finance director and CFO for the last 10 years in fact last 15 years so i understand sbl from a practical point of view and from my teaching experience point of view i have been teaching since last um, 25 years thousands of students and i have been conducting the accs practice to pass webinars consecutively for five attempts so that was a brief introduction of myself now, the big thing, what is SBL about? So in, in all aspects, SBL is a very, very different paper. I did not use the word difficult. I use the word different paper. Different with all the ACCA papers you have given so far okay so just hold your questions for a little bit i will take all your questions towards the end right so sbl is basically you know different not difficult that's a misconception that it's difficult now why do we say it's different there are so many things First of all, it is one integrated case study. What do I mean by integrated case study? That there will be a big fat story and all the questions, all the questions will be coming out from that one case study, okay? So if you understand the good, uh, the case, it's good. But if you don't understand that case, then all your questions are at risk, right? So that's one thing. Secondly, it is the longest paper of ACCA. So, so far, you must have given papers <clears throat> uh, of three hours or uh, maybe three hours, 15 minutes. This particular paper is four hours. <coughs> So it requires a lot of physical stamina, uh, mental stamina. So that is something which we have to work upon because most students, they get tired around three hours or three hours, 15 minutes. So the last one hour or last 45 minutes is really very difficult for students. So that is something which we need to focus on. And then 20 marks for professional skills. So you see the paper is how many marks do you know? The paper is 100 marks. Out of that, 20 marks is professional marks and the remaining 80 marks is technical marks. So do you know what a professional marks is? Have you given papers in the past which had some kind of professional marks? Have you given any paper in the past which had professional marks? 
ATX, very good. Triple A, very good. And how much professional marks are there in Triple A or ATX? Ah, you see four marks. So in all the rest of the ACCA papers, like advanced papers, the professional mask was four marks out of 100. Four marks out of 100. But in SBL, it is 20 marks out of 100. You see, that's a huge, huge difference. So 20 marks. So can I say 20% of your paper comes from professional skills you understand so if if you know many students they ask me sir which is the most important topic and i always say professional skills because 20 percent of your paper is straight away from professional skills so that's something which we need to really really uh, focus on right but the good news the good news is that in SBL, the professional skills are very well defined. So there are five professional skills. Okay. It is a evaluation skill, analysis skill, um, communication skill, commercial acumen skill and lastly it is skepticism skills there are five specific skills and all these five skills are very well defined uh, in your syllabus uh, very well structured so and in each question listen very carefully in each question you will be clearly asked which skill to demonstrate so it's not that you have to demonstrate all the skills in all the questions simultaneously no for each question you have to demonstrate one particular skill and that would be defined in the question right so it makes it easy so don't worry about professional skills uh it's my job to teach you all the professional skills yeah and uh, we should try and score maximum at least 15 marks out of 20 so that we get a very strong start correct yeah very good ali abbas uh, ali abbas is saying 20 giveaway marks Yes, but don't Ali, don't use direct messages, use everyone, right? So that everybody can see your comment. So, you know, for professional skills, Ali Abbas, uh, you are very right. It is a give away marks and I call it cash marks. You know what is a cash marks? Easy to earn. As long as you know the technique, what to demonstrate, how to demonstrate it, it's easy to grab so we will focus a lot on professional skills and then a lot of formats are involved in sbl what kind of formats it will be sometimes the examiner wants a report sometime a briefing note sometime memo sometime the examiner asks you to make or prepare presentation slides or prepare a press release, draft an email, write a letter, make a PID. PID is project initiation. So you see, you have to be very, very hands on with all the possible formats because they are also easy marks. Formats are not difficult as long as you know what each thing means you can simply quickly you know draw them in your answer so again for me it is a cash marks and we will i will be focusing a lot a lot on format so these two areas are really close to my heart because this is where the easy marks are unfortunately a lot of students they struggle in this area so if you read the examiner's comments, 
the examiner is mostly unhappy with professional skills and the formats and this is where we need to build our strength okay right and then unlike other papers there is very less emphasis on models i think this is a good news because models are dry difficult to you know memorize it's confusing it can it can stuck you in between right so in sbl the examiner is not really interested in testing your models he is interested in some logical answers that's it whether you use a model or you don't use a model doesn't matter he is interested in a logical answer yes models do help like certain tricky topics like culture now culture is a very tricky topic so there i would like to use a model to simplify our answer sometimes i like to use pestle or porter 5 or sword or sfa so there are certain models which will which will make your life easy but by and large it is a not a model driven paper so if you are not familiar with models that's also not a problem so i think that's good news right and lastly 20 to 25% of the paper is common sense so it doesn't come from any chapter any topic any syllabus you just have to be intelligent or common sense uh, answers right you see out of 100 20 marks is professional skills and then i'm saying 20 to 25 marks are common sense topics so it does not belong to any particular topic so you can see that 40 to 45 marks is simply in the air you don't really have to worry about complicated things you just need to be smart you just need to know the professional skills the formats and have some basic confidence and 40% of your paper is done so in this i feel that this makes the paper easy but for some students uh, they unfortunately feel that you know bookish knowledge is more easy than uh common sense logical answers anyways so you see most of this you will not see in any other sbl paper like triple a like triple uh, atx sbr nothing it's a very very different paper do you agree it's different again it's not difficult it is different and because it is different i i feel that students find it difficult but it's not difficult it's different any questions so far yes okay so moyuddin has asked a very interesting question moyuddin he's saying how do you build a strong common sense <laughs> strong common sense i think that all of you have a strong common sense you guys are millennials not even millennials millennials the z generation right you used google you you are so much you have access to so much information that common sense regarding sbl there is no such thing as common sense regarding sbl common sense just means you are intelligent for example moyuddin yes tanbi i am just coming to you moyuddin let's talk about sbl okay so i am teaching sbl uh would i want to maximize my number of students yes or no moyuddin yes 
Why would I like to maximize my number of students? Any reason? What it will do if I have more earnings? So it will, can I say it will increase my revenues and hence my profits? Okay. Now, can you suggest to me two or three strategies or ideas how I can do some marketing and increase my number of students? Advertising, very good. Referring, now referring, very good point, Moedi. Right? Have you studied all the quality? Doreen is saying I can improve my quality. Doreen, when I say improve quality, what do you mean by that? Ali Abbas is saying digital marketing. Ali Abbas, give me three examples of digital marketing. Moyuddin is saying free lectures and demos and all this. Tembi is saying high pass rate will also, you know, differentiate me from others yeah reputation experience word of mouth dedication so okay now how many of you you guys are answering insta browser uh, very good i'm just reading all these things excellent so now you guys have studied sbl before How come you are coming up with so accurate, intelligent answers? Common sense. This is exactly what is required. Nothing more, nothing less. You know, the problem is why majority students, they fail. There are two reasons. I, number one, they overcomplicate things. I mean, they go, they study a lot. They go through the book, they go through the kids. And then they don't practice. Although it should be the other way around. You should read less chapters and focus more on practice. You see, so uh, Moyuddin, are you clear now what I'm trying to say that in just some basic IQ and you will be there. Very nice, very nice. Now, Let's 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 take a quick look at the ACCA CBE platform. So I think almost all of you, 99% of you will be giving the paper on CBE platform, right? Uh, only few African countries are still on manual paper, but 99% centers are now on CBE platforms. Have you, would you like to see a SBL CBE platform and how a SBL question will, does look like? Just to give you an idea of what we are up against. So ACCA, they have their own CBE platform. Each and every student has access to it, right? So you can log into your my ACCA portal and from there you can you need to navigate and you will see the CBE practice platform. There when you will go you will see the SBL thing. So let me um, let me go through mine. So I I logged in through my tutors access which might be slightly different. So this is the ACCA CBE platform. And from there, I will click to um, strategic business leader paper, official resources, past exam library. Okay, wait. So when you click to your, when you log into your my ACC, don't do it now, just watch on the screen right now. Are you able to see the screen guys? able to see the screen right okay so when you go to when you click on acca sbl you will see three options 
you will see past exam library, you will see practice exams, and you will see specimen exams, okay? So let me just click on past exam. There, there are two questions available. I click on that and past exam is somewhere. Where is it? Specimen, specimen, past exam. Oh, that's triple A. Okay, let me. Okay, got it. So I will click on the, you know, there will be some next, next, next stuff. You, are you ready to begin an exam? Yes. Now, this is the big thing. This is your actual CV. Guys, uh, don't ask lengthy questions at the moment because I will take all the questions in the end, okay? So this is when you will log into your CBE. <coughs> this is how your paper looks in SBF. So on the left-hand side, there are exhibits. How many exhibits are there in this question? There are seven exhibits, like the first one is an overview and then extracts from most recent annual report. And then there is a press release. There's a forecast revenue and cost, outline contents of a PID, a transcript of an emergency meeting and a report interview with Burton with. So seven exhibits have been given to you. Let's take a quick look. So when I click on overview, a fresh window, window will open and the overview of the case study is there. So it's just a half page thing. Okay. And um, I close this and then I go to the most recent annual report and uh, you see the annual report. So this is a chief executive statement, blah, 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 and then blah, blah, blah. All this you have to read. Mm -hmm. so these are the exhibits provided to you. And then after the exhibits, you will see tasks. Now tasks are basically questions, okay? So task number one is question number one, task number two is question number two and so forth. Task one is 32 marks, task two is 18 marks, 40 marks and four marks. So let me open task one. Very interesting. So you see a question has been prepared, given to you. No, Moyadi. So what's the first task? Prepare a briefing paper for the poll. You remember I said that almost all questions have a particular format. So in this particular question, you have to prepare which format? A briefing paper. So that means that you have to be very comfortable. You must know what a briefing paper is. What's the format? What's the, you know, the tone of drafting? How do you prepare or present a briefing paper? You must be hands-on on, or, or on top of it. Very, very important. And the, the, the question is mentioned, analyzes the financial and non-financial issues, blah, 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 18 marks. So you have to prepare a briefing paper which analyzes financial and non-financial issues, 18 marks. And then what about professional marks? This one. And then it says professional skills marks are available for demonstrating analysis skills. 
So in this particular question, you have to demonstrate analysis skills. How many marks? Four marks. So in total, this question is 18 plus four, 22 marks, out of which 18 marks is technical marks, like you have to identify the issues, blah, blah, blah and four marks is professional you must be able to score three marks at least out of four cash marks remember and then there's a b it says discuss the difficulties cc may face in fulfilling the criteria stated by desmond the transport minister eight marks and in this particular question Professional skills marks are available for demonstrating commercial acumen in identifying blah, blah, blah. So for each question, you will be instructed which particular skill. Okay. So this is, this is how your question looks. So task number three, I'm just showing you prepare a confidential memo. The, so the format here is a confidential memo and the professional skills is skepticism and then there's a summary for the board and professional skills is evaluation and then he wants a briefing paper and the professional skills is commercial acumen very standard format and where is your answer script here the response options you will open up your word processor and here you will type your answers. Okay. So all the answers from question one to question four is in the same word processor. It's one document. It's not like a separate word document for each question. Okay. And then you are also given a spreadsheet, which is Excel. You don't really need Excel in SBL, so don't worry about it. And you're also given slides. So if the question asks you for a presentation slide, then a presentation slide format is also given to you. All you need to do is just type inside this template and it's done. You, you see, all the exhibits are here. All the questions are here and your word respond, your answer sheets are here. Nice, easy. Yes, uh, Doreen, for slide, you simply type into the template, that's it. <laughs> Other than uh, exhibits, there is no long case study, no. The exhibit is the total case study. Moise is asking, how do we referencing answers? Moise, this is orientation class. Uh, I will teach all these things towards the end. Uh, how to refer, do your linking and referencing. So don't worry about such last advance. Can we open two windows at the same time? Absolutely, yes. For example, I open the Word document. I keep it here and i open one exhibit i keep it here on this side and can i copy paste yes i will copy paste some information control c and i will bring it here control v and then if i want to copy this information i bring it here control c and i bring it here control v so you know cbe actually makes your life easy because all you need to do is copy paste certain relevant information from the exhibit to your answer sheet and then explain those points or discuss those around those points. So you don't have to type everything. It saves a substantial amount of time. Okay, clear. What is the purpose of slide? I mean, the examiner wants you to prepare a presentation slide for the board. You see, so this paper, SBL, is basically for the board of directors. Sometimes you have to make presentations to the board. 
So you must know how to prepare presentations, okay? Ali Abbas is saying paper-based students would be havoc for SBL. Absolutely, yes. Paper-based students, uh, they really struggle for time management because they don't enjoy the feature of copy pasting. But this, this CBE platform, we will, we will uh, cover towards the latter half. In let's say in January, in February, we will start using so all our practice listen carefully all our practice will have to be on cbe platform you understand i don't want any word document you have to open your cbe you have to log into your acca portal log into your cbe and all our practice will be on the cbe platform so that you do not struggle in your real exam on the platform okay your typing speed your mouse your formatting all this have to be picture perfect and that will only come through cbe practice and that's it yeah do you agree all right let's move on what else Now, the most important thing, why students fail? You see, if, if the paper is so easy, 40 marks are common sense, why students fail? So first of all, I would like to start by saying that SBL has the highest passing ratio amongst all the advanced level papers. So SBL's average passing ratio is 50%. Whereas the most of the advanced papers, they are, their passing ratio is from 35% to 40%. So in, 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 in relative terms, SBL is easier to pass as compared to other papers, because that's why it has a highest passing ratio as compared to all the other subjects, okay? But then still 50% of the people, uh, they fail SBLY. And if you know, I go through the examiner's report uh, very thoroughly, and I have picked up the most common reasons. The first reason is the examiner feels that the answers are not linked with the exhibits. Most students, they often, you know, offer theoretical or general answers. This is not all. If you have been given a case study, you are expected to solve the problem for the company, right? Theoretical answers or general answers, why would you get marks? So the biggest mistake or the most common reason is students they don't link their answers with the exhibits. Now, can anybody tell me why students don't link their answers with the exhibits? What's so difficult about it? What do you think? Why majority students don't link the answer? So Moyuddin, very smart. Moyuddin is saying bookish knowledge. That's the number one reason. Lack of practice. Easier to give book materials than to apply. Very good, Dory. Excellent. Maybe they read case study and forget to answer. Possible. Lack of understanding of the scenario. Quite possible. the most common reasons in my experience is that when students they read they focus on book and the theory and the general side and the knowledge side they tend to write more general stuff okay so that is why i always discourage students to go through books and go through theoretical stuff 
because then you will become a bookworm and you would you will like because you have so much knowledge theoretical knowledge that you want to show off to the examiner okay so we will just understand the syllabus bare minimum of course you need to understand and have basic concepts but i don't want to have advanced theoretical concepts it's no need a lot of teachers they really focus on syllabus and knowledge gaining and advanced complicated stuff really in the four hours of the exam you will lose the battle okay so basic knowledge and more practice is what my strategy would be and i tell you the all the answers is hidden in the exhibits what did i say all the answers are hidden in the exhibits it's not hidden in the book it's hidden in the exhibit you should practice or you should learn how to identify those hidden answers within the exhibits right so you don't really need the book you need the exhibits because the answers are part or hidden in the exhibits very simple that's the mode so a lot of students who start studying in the last one week or last 10 days they try and read the book and the chapters and that is why they become very theoretic right the second issue why now why am i telling you all this i was talking to one of the acca markers in london and he actually advised me that for all the new students you should first start by talking about why students fail because if you if we talk about this in the start you will be conscious you will know what are the mistakes or weaknesses so that you will not fall into the trap right so the second reason is merely copy pasting materials from the exhibits without adding own comments or explaining why the point is important or relevant so I, I check a lot of mock papers and many students they just like to copy paste stuff on the answer copy paste copy paste that's it they do not explain their point or add their own thoughts so if you just copy paste copy paste copy paste do you think you will pass or get marks no and then poor technical knowledge and professional skills knowledge yeah so that that is a problem that a lot of students they don't even know the basic concepts excessively short responses so you know they just for a 20 mark question they you, they will write only half a page of answer no not reading the requirements carefully so sometimes the question is asking you to 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 do a and you are you you misunderstood the question and you did b obviously you will lose marks insufficient number of points according to the marks weak grip over the word response to like formats layout spelling mistakes typos you have to you know when you are typing a report it should vis visually look professional right and students not doing practice on cb platform so these are the most common reasons which why acca students like they fail sbl okay but the most important thing is these two the rest are very small small things but the first two is significant so please guys would you like to 
do these mistakes? Who would like to do these mistakes? I have told you these mistakes three months before the paper, right? So please make a promise to yourself that no matter what happens, I will not fall for these weaknesses. And I, I can guarantee you that if you do not do these mistakes, you will 100% pass the paper. Okay, so let's keep this in mind. It's a bit too early, but I just wanted to give you a flavor of why students fail. Now for those students uh, who are recent, like they have given SBL before, is there anyone in this, in this group who has uh, given SBL before? No? Oh, Moise, Moise is yes. Moise, would you like to share your marks? Do you remember how much you scored in the previous attempt? 43, oh God. Okay. So just to, you know, give you an idea that those students who scored between 45 and 49, 45 to 49, your problem was weak linking and weak professional marks and formats and insufficient skills. Your technical knowledge was perfect. Your technical knowledge was good, but because either your professional skills marks was weak or you were not able to link properly or the insufficient number of points. Because of that, the examiner was pissed off and he gave you marks in the range of for late mid 40s to late 40s, okay? And if you score less than 45, or I can say, um, you know, it's less than 40. That means your technical knowledge is weak. So you have to work on your technical knowledge, plus, of course, these things. Okay, just to give you an idea for research students. Now, how do we teach at Wi-Fi? So Wi-Fi, you know, is just not a online teaching coaching center. A lot of teachers, they just record their videos of live classes and they give it to the students and they expect the student to just watch the video and class. Wi-Fi is a very professional online institute. We are the only online, like only online institute since last five years we are not the baby of COVID. okay we were there before COVID. so i just want to show you a quick video about our you know uh, teaching methodology and then i will explain to you we will apply that in our sbl and see how it works give me one second All right, guys, are you able to see this, uh, the screen? Wifi is offering, are you able to see the screen? Let me just see the comment. Yes, okay, so I'll just play this one and a half minute short video, and then we will speak, okay? It tells us about what we offer.
All right. So, you know, that was a uh, short video just to give you an idea of the whole teaching methodology. But I will just quickly explain to you in regards to SBL what we will be going through. Right. So, first of all, video lectures. So, all what I've done is all the chapters or the or the knowledge part or the theoretical part i have recorded the videos and these are very high quality animated videos uh, there's a proper portal so you know you will be given a user id and password and if you see this is just how it will look it will be like chapter 1 1.1 1 .1, and then another topic another topic these are all videos and then you see there is a question practice video. So after every few topics, there will be a question practice videos. And then again, some videos and then another practice video. So this is how it works. So that's one. So what I want is that you quickly watch the, the knowledge videos. You don't really need my live classes for that. You can watch the videos in your own time, in your own time zone, in your own convenience. Some people like in night, some people like in afternoon, whatever. So all the video lectures are recorded. And there is a date. You see, there are, all the videos are not released in one go, or all the chapters are not released in one go. Otherwise, you will get confused. So the chapters are released in batches, uh, four weeks time, three weeks time, two weeks time is given. So proper structured manner. After that, here is where the action begins. Here is where I will add value. Live practice classes, okay? This is the game, it's live practice classes. And my, as I, as I said in start that I focus more on practice. We'll be doing a lot of practice, but to for you to be able to do handle case studies, you need to first finish the four, first four chapters. That's important, okay? Because you know the case studies, they are integrated, they are linked. They cover multiple topics. So for us to really, really do a proper case study, you need to cover the first four chapters and then we will be able to enjoy and properly do case studies, right? And first, just to, make, just to get yourself familiarized, I will start from case studies from P1 and P3 past papers. A lot of students, a lot of teachers, they use revision kit for practice. And uh, honestly, the revision kits are not good. Their questions are confusing. Their answers are more confusing. And, and really the kits are basically P1 and P3 questions itself modified slightly. So I prefer doing the P1, P3 papers directly p1 p3 are the previous subjects of acca before sbl was there so we will do p1 p3 questions so that you know before we approach sbl questions you must be familiar comfortable how to handle case studies how to draft your answers how to link your answers. We must start with smaller questions and then build up, right? So we would be doing like five proper case studies. These are 50 marks questions from P1 and P3. The first one will be starting on 16th of Jan. So all my paid students, please uh, share, save these dates. Every Sunday, basically from my, you know, it's every Sunday, 8 p.m. Pakistan time. I have selected Sunday because most of the countries are off on Sunday so that working students can attend. These are the five Sundays. Uh, no, this one is Saturday and then again on Sunday, right? 
So this is a timetable for the five classes. It will be 8 p.m. Pakistan time, and it will be recorded as well. So all the live classes, all the live classes will be recorded, including today's orientation class, and it will be uploaded in your portal so that you can look at it again, or people who have missed can review it again. Okay, so that's five proper case studies. After that, there are assignments. You will have to submit these case studies. You will have to solve it. So we will do it in the live class. Then you will do it in your own time and then you will submit to me for my checking. So all these five questions have to be submitted as an assignment and I will be marking them. I will be giving you marks. I will be telling you what's wrong because unless you get the feedback, how would you know whether you are on the right track or not? All right. So there's no point in doing live classes and solving questions in the live class. It will look easy, but when you will do it alone on your own, that's where you will struggle. And that's what I want you to do. So assignments is the very important part of the game plan. Uh, there are two types of assignments, okay? So for each chapter, when you do each chapter, so when you, you know, if I go back, you see this video lectures. So each chapter has their questions. These are very small or basic questions. And then I will be doing live class practice. These are larger questions. If you can submit these one on time, it will be good. It's not mandatory, but I strongly suggest that you submit these questions as you complete your chapters. But this is mandatory to submit because this is a proper case study. This one, if try to submit on time, if you are slightly delayed, I can still accommodate, but here you have to follow the timetable very strictly, okay? After we've done with the live classes of P1, P3, now is the time for SBL question practice. Wait, Ali Abbas. Five live classes for basic like P1, P3 questions. After that, you will be ready for SBL questions. So, so but for, for you to do SBL questions, you have to complete the syllabus because SBL is a hundred mark paper and it covers the entire syllabus. So there is no fun uh, in, in, handling the SBL case study if you haven't done all the chapters, right? So we will, once we finish all the chapters, we will be, we will start the SBL. In the meantime, we will be doing all these P1, P3 questions, right? We will not be wasting our time. And by the time we will finish the P1, P3 live questions, you will, would have completed your chapters and we will start. So again, it will all be 100% live classes. This is the value addition you will get that all SBL questions will be live classes. And do you know how much hours it will take for one case study? Any idea? How much hours for one case study? eight to nine hours. So in the exam, you will get four hours. In the exam, you will get four hours. But when I'm teaching you the initial questions, I, I, I will not be going in speed. I will first be explaining, we will be discussing, I will, and then we will both, we will be drafting the answers together in the live class. You know, drafting is a big problem for students. 
drafting is a big problem for students and the only way is that you and me do it together in a live class i will be drafting you will be drafting we will be talking comparing so around eight to nine hours per case study so that is why if you see uh you know co fold day one day two highlight question day one day two dulls question day one day two so i have to break it into two batches because we will not be able to give nine hours in one sitting right right so this is the timetable for our sbl practice all the dates are there most of the classes are on saturday sunday most of it but not all because it's not possible because of short time as we near the exam and uh, again the recordings will be available for later view and then after that we will be doing proper mock exam again the mock exam will be a live class it will be a live mock everybody will log in to on the date on the time and i will be invigilating strict four hours strict exam conditions we will be doing two mocks under live conditions and i will be actually checking the first mock and providing you marks and detail feedback so that in the second mock you are able to address those issues right what are the dates for the mock the first mock will be on 20th of feb which is sunday and second mock will be on 27th of feb which is another sunday how long each live class will be it depends so this these uh, live classes for sbl will be 4 hours long and the uh, other ones the p1 p3 live classes this one will be 2 hours long okay so that's the game plan and like on 5th march i will do a grand revision so it's with, it's a saturday so generally your paper is on tuesday so saturday night like 4 to 5 hours we will spend on grand revision we will be revising we will be talking i will be answering questions all those things so the last one month like the month of february will be very very hectic so please try and take some leave so starting from 5th of feb you see from 5th of feb the first mock practice not the mock the first sbl question will start and then 6th and then 8th and then 9th and then 12th and then 13th and 15th and 16th and then on 20 the first mock and 20 27 the next mock so feb and then on 3rd of march the grand revision so feb will be really really crazy uh ali abbas is saying this time the exam is on 1st march really no baba are you sure no yeah it's on 8th march correct don't give me scare of my life yeah it's on 8 march i think let's 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 recheck after the class and then there's a dedicated whatsapp group for all your you paid students like for the march 22 batch we will have a dedicated group we have a whatsapp group this is not the general global group it's the dedicated group and uh, right now it's not very active because I, I was waiting for students to join but now going forward i will make it active i will be asking some questions i will make it more interactive i will be sharing some global news so how many of you read newspapers one two just few of you majority of you are not in the habit of reading global business news right and doesn't matter it's my job to you know pick up some 
relevant global news relevant to your SBL and I will share it on the group. I will, we will be discussing those articles. So all this is basically the WIFI's uh, educational methodology. It does not video lectures, okay? It's so much of live classes, so much of interaction, assignments, practice, checking. What you need to do, what you need to do is, you need to allocate at least 10 to 12 hours per week. Can you do that? Can you allocate at least in December and January, 10 to 12 hours per week? That is like two hours per day, or if you want to uh, do on weekends, then five to six hours on Saturday, five to six hours on Sunday. If you can't do this much, then it will be risky. Yes, Moyuji. So allocate, this is the time investment you need to plan yourself, okay? Then you have to watch the video lectures on time. That's very important. You have to watch the video lectures on time. We need to finish uh, the four chapters. Uh, right now, chap up till chapter four is available in your video portals. And can anybody let me know what is the date for uh, uh, to complete chap the four chapters? I think it was 7th Jan or something. Right. So till 7th or 8th Jan, you need to finish the four chapters. Because from 15th of Jan, we are starting our live classes, right? So we have to finish before that. Very smart. And then you have to submit your assignments. And you have to attend all the live classes. And then submit the assignments of the live classes. Practice on CBE and give mocks. This is what you need to do if you want to pass SBL. Allocate weekly time watch the videos do assignments after each chapter attend the live class solve the live classes questions we will do the sbl practice and then you give mock papers if you can't do these things it's really will be very difficult that a lot of reliance is on luck okay you guys have time you guys, if even if you join now, you have sufficient time till March, right? All you need to do is make sure that you do, you follow this game plan and it will be done. So how many of you would like to follow this game plan? Okay, let me, let me, let me bribe you. Let me motivate you. So, do you want to earn some dollars while studying? So while, while you are studying SBL, do you want to make some money for studying? What do you think? <laughs> So you have to study anyways, because you have paid fees to ACCA, right? You have to study anyways. But what if you, if I offer you some money for studying? So Wifi has just rolled out a gamification model. And uh, let me quickly show you what that model is about. Watch very carefully. Hello, Wifians. Are you tired of traditional learning methodology and want to transform your learning into a game? If yes, then the wait is over. If he has launched its gamification learning model, in which there are seven levels to score 100 points. Level 1, recorded sessions. Level 2, live classes. Level 3, assignments. Level 4, test yourself. Level 5, testing platform. 
level six, mock, level seven, quick WhatsApp response. In which you need to score at least 80 marks. But the game will not get over. You still need to pass your ACC exam. So if you score 100 points and you pass, you will get $1.30 discount. If you score 90 points and you pass, you will get $1.20 discount. And if you score 80 points and you pass, you will get $1.10 discount on any other paper at Wi-Fi. So what are you waiting for? Let the game begin. <laughs> Interesting. So basically what Sir Rizwar is saying is watch the videos, attend all the live classes, submit all your assignments, practice on CBE, do your mocks and pass the paper. And for that, we will give you some dollars. So please, this is the maximum we can do to make you pass, right? So please take advantage of this. Now, for self-study students, so today's session is not only for WIFI's paid batch, uh, there are several students who are self-study as well, which is perfectly fine. Uh, we are there to support them as well. So I have given you, you know, a, a study plan for self-study students as well. What you need to do is get hold of my summarized notes. Watch the September 2021 webinar in which I have covered the important topics. And then watch December 2021 webinar and the upcoming March 2022 webinar for case study practice. And in the meantime, you can do five case studies from P1 and P3. These are the questions. After that, you must do the SBL practice on the CBE platform. These are the questions. And then you can attend to, you have to you know, do mock exams to test yourself. All right, so this is the game plan for self-study students who are not a uh, part of the paid batch, right? So you have to be very, very disciplined and honest to yourself because the biggest problem with self-study is that because of work pressure or whatever, you are not able to give regular disciplined time, all right? Okay. So that's about it. The key message is stay away from book and revision kits. We don't want theoretical knowledge. You can just use webinars, simplified notes, and practice SBL case studies. You will be able to pass. Right. So now I am looking forward to some questions. Where can I get summarized notes prepared by you? Uh, if you're in the paid batch, it's on your video portal. If you're not in the paid batch, then it is in my Google Drive. Okay. Even if you're in my paid batch, um, you should have access to my Google Drive, which is a global drive. Just WhatsApp me and I will send you the link of my Google Drive. All the past webinars, all the handouts, everything is there, right? So it will be easy for you. Salima is saying password to merge the notes. There is no concept of merging the notes. Are you able, you just need to download each chapter and that's it. So, okay, so you need to <coughs> download and it will be just saved on your, uh, on your PC. Can you share the Google Drive in the WhatsApp group? Okay, Doreen, that's a good idea. After the class, I will share the Google Drive um, thing on the class. Um, for people who are giving in June, you should know, no, then you should not join this batch because this batch is for March. We will be starting the June batch somewhere in February. 
So at that time, you must join the, the, the June batch, okay? Uh, Moyuddin is saying I'm targeting triple A and SBL together. Uh, giving two, uh, both triple A and SBL are giant papers and difficult game. So it's a risky thing which you are doing. Uh, but it also depends on students to student. If you have a lot of time, like if you can devote like the re required amount of time to each subject without compromising on the quality, then yes, otherwise it would be a risky proposition. The contents does not expire. Uh, you know, the contents are basically the video recorded lectures. They don't expire, but the live classes will be different, a little bit different, but by and large, no. But Alir Bas, why are you asking this? So, uh, you know, message me in WhatsApp if you have any issues, so I will be able to guide you. The question at the end of each chapter is available in the past paper section in Wi-Fi portal. Yes, yes. Without book, how you will complete? You follow my notes, please. Book, do, have you seen the book? It is like this thick. It's like three inch thick. You just download my simple notes and use it. Can you share your contact in this meeting to access the link for those not on the group yet? So yeah, it's uh, you can message. I will share the numbers here and you can message them and they will add you to the group. All right, more questions? Uh, I would suggest that you should not give two subjects together like if one is sbl and the other one is could be anything i would not suggest that you mix sbl with any other subject why because i have seen majority students struggle so unless you are a brilliant student and you are not working you can devote like six ten hours a day then you should give two subjects otherwise not you can choose any subject if you want to, uh, wherever you feel you have a better chance to pass, you just pick up. Is the study plan on portal? No, I will just upload this uh, video in the portal in a couple of days. Right, guys. So when is the deadline to complete all the chapters? Uh, the deadline to complete all the chapters is uh, end of Jan. By end of Jan, we have to complete all the chapters so that February we just focus on SBL CBE practice. Full five weeks of practice. Okay, so up till now my paid batches up till now, it was your honeymoon period. You were quiet. I was quiet. We were both enjoying the time. But from now onward, like let's say this week or from next week, I want you to get more active, come on track. Otherwise, in the end, you will have lag behind and then it will be very difficult to catch up. No, Ali Abbas, nothing. No book, no magazines. Just chill. Common sense. Just chill. Okay, do not overstudy. The answers are hidden in the exhibit. So why do you need to read a magazine? Yes, Salima. All right, guys. So uh, those of you uh, who have joined now, just, you know, you've got like two more weeks to quickly catch up. Those of you who are thinking of joining, you can message to Madiha or Ammar. Uh, these are my online coordinators. All right. And uh, they will provide you more details. They will guide you. And uh, 
if you have any questions you can also message to me what is my whatsapp number it was in the start it was here that's my whatsapp number you can also message me if you want to ask any direct one-to-one -one question all right guys with that let's i would like to sign off i will share this material on the whatsapp group and i will share the video on the portal all right all right guys thank you so much i will announce the date of the next class maybe i might keep one extra class before the actual thing but i will let you know right guys all the best and see you later take care good night